everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we are gonna look at Diptyque. These are the city candles that were out for a limited period of time. I actually have seven of them. There are 10 in total. And uh, today I just thought I would go through them. So this is gonna be a short video. I don't know if this will actually go up as a full video on my, on my channel, or whether I'll just turn it into a, a reel or a Instagram short. I, I really don't know. Uh, but I did wanna show you all the candles because they really are very unique and quite beautiful. So um, because I ordered quite a few of them, I actually ended up getting this really pretty <laughs> box from Diptyque. It's this big white box. Um, and in it, you can put the candles in their boxes. So let me show you what that looks like. You can fit six in the box. And so I have the six international ones in there right now. And then the seventh one is actually one of the US ones and I'll, I'll show you what they are. So um, each of them has its own uh, distinct design. This is New York, which has, I would say an art deco kind of design. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about the candle and what it looks like while I hold it up so you can take a look at it. Um, it says, the New York candle evokes the golden age of alluring speakeasies and the city's nightlife. Notes of cedar wood, vetiver, and patchouli heightened by a mysterious incense are a scented echo of these legendary and contemporary sites. There are, it says it's a 60 hour burn time. It is a very woody, very warm fragrance and quite beautiful. And as you see, you have got the, the deep blue and the gold etching for the New York candle. Diptyque does a beautiful job with their presentation and with their candles. As you can see behind me, I have the very large gold uh, Fort de Bois candle behind me, uh, which is a very, again, woody, deep candle, uh, which I absolutely love. It smells like, um, it smells like a, fire on the beach. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, it's, it's very smoky, very smoky scent, but I really, I really love Fort de Bois is my, is probably my favorite. Um, so the rest of the ones that I picked up are international. Um, I, I did not pick up London because it's a very floral candle and it has lilac in it. Lilac I'm extremely allergic to. And so I just felt it was better just to stay away from London. So I did not get the London candle, although the London votive is the my favorite, the way that it looks anyway. Uh, but I did not pick that up. Uh, and then I did not pick up Beverly Hills or Miami, because um, I figure I could get those at some other time since they are here in the United States. Um, the, other, the others, uh, I'll, we'll go through one by one. So this is Hong Kong. This is the packaging on the Hong Kong candle. It has this green, blue, and like almost holographic red shade. Um, and the candle itself, the votive, is this beautiful metallic pinky red with almost like a silvery blue um, etching. And it says, the Hong Kong candle is an ode to nature expressed through notes built around the famous Bohemia Blackenia, accented with a floral vanilla accord. Don't know really what that means. Uh, 60 hours of burn time again. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that is, but it's stunning. Bohemia Blackiana. I'm gonna have to look up what that is. Um, it absolutely is, it's 6.5 ounces. It absolutely is a floral vanilla, but wow. That is, I love that. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but it's a very sweet, it's a very sweet vanilla. There's a floral in there, but it's a floral that's not something I'm used to. It almost smells a little musky. Oh, that is stunning. All right, so, so far, the New York one is really, really nice, but that Hong Kong one is, is that's amazing. I have to figure out what those things actually are so I can uh, explain them to you. Uh, okay, so then we've got Berlin, and the Berlin candle has this uh, green and yellow, almost, 
what would you call that? Like block, almost like a Mondrian kind of design uh, with the green and yellow etching um, on the candle itself. And it says, the scents of the Berlin candle transport you to the German capital's most prestigious avenue, surrounded by the heady scent of blossoming linden trees, a powerful perfume with light honey accents. Again, 60 hours of, of burnt time. Oh, that's interesting. This one's definitely floral. I wouldn't say this would be my favorite scent because again, I'm not a really big floral person. But there's a there's the honey note that balances out whatever floral this is. I, I've never smelled a linden tree, but I'm gonna assume this is what a linden tree smells like. It's very light floral. Um, and like the honey does come through on it. I would say though, if I, I think if I smelled this for a long period of time, my head would begin to hurt. Um, that's what tends to happen when you have florals. I just get a headache. Now, again, these are candles, so it's not the same as like the actual flower. Like if I was in the room with a lilac, my eyes would shut, swell shut. If I'm in the room with something that smells like lilac, that does not happen because um, I'm allergic to the, you know, like to the, the pollen in a lilac. Um, but the smell just, uh, first it kind of gives me bad, <laughs> bad memories. It just instantly I get this sort of, oh my, oh my goodness, get away kind of thing. And then the smell gives me a headache. Any kind of really floral, floral scents just spark a headache. I am subject to migraines and you know, everybody gets migraines for different reasons. Um, I have weird triggers. I guess everybody does like you have your own unique trigger, uh, but mine tend to be floral scents for whatever reason. Um, and then really strong chemical smells. And you know, for some reason, I don't know what it is about florals, but they just automatically give me a headache. Uh, all right. So this is the Shanghai candle. Uh, as you can see, you've got the red uh, brick pattern, almost like the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's a specific name for this, but I can't think of what it is right now, uh, with, the, with purple like vines running through it um, and some uh, lanterns in it as well, which is really actually quite pretty. Um, the candle itself is got the red votive with like a blue purple etching. Uh, and it says the scent, uh, the scent of Shanghai candle is closely linked to a Chinese tradition. Deliciously perfume Osmanthus, Osmanthus, sorry, Osmanthus flowers, complemented with notes of green tea, like an homage to the tea ceremony. Oh yeah, I can smell the green tea. I like green tea. It's actually, I, I've always liked it. I know a lot of people don't like green tea, but I really enjoy the green tea. In fact, one of my favorite drinks in the summer is an iced green tea from Starbucks, uh, a sweetened iced green tea, but not too much, sugar, but sweetened iced green tea. Love that. I think I'm probably the only person, but anyway. Yeah, that, that's very nice. It's very light. Osmanthus is a, is a ingredient, is a scent that I do like. I've seen it in other perfumes, but I don't <laughs> absolutely know what it is. I mean, I know it's a flower, but I don't know from where. Um, but it's, yeah, it's very light. It's very pretty. It's a very gentle scent. And it's because the green tea is, is more of a, a subtle, a subtle scent. Um, okay, then let's move to Tokyo. And the Tokyo uh, box, you've got the white, orange, and green. And the uh, candle on the inside is, is really pretty, the votive. It's this frosted white with this gorgeous burnt umber kind of orange floral and etching. And it says, the aroma of the Tokyo candle revives the fond memory of a stroll along alleyways in the shade of Japanese cypress trees where a temple diffuses notes of soothing incense. You've got the, the white candle. Oh yeah, absolutely, and incense. Very warm, woody fragrance. This is beautiful. So far, I'd say the, the Hong Kong and the Tokyo are my favorites. Mm, very nice. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a woody scent. The incense, you can definitely pick up on the incense in that one. And I do love the colors in the candle. The colors in the candle are beautiful. Uh, okay, so next we'll do Paris. 
Paris on the outside, it's, it's sort of an Art Deco thing again. It's like a light blue, deep blue with like this gold silver kind of etching shade, which is really pretty. And that is mirrored in the, um, the votive itself. Gorgeous shade of this like deep blue green. Now I've seen the Paris candle available uh, at Nordstrom at well, as well. And I believe the Beverly Hills in Miami is also available at Nordstrom's. Not, yeah, Paris. It was available last year. Um, I saw it at Nordstrom. Um, and then this year they have the Beverly Hills, the New York, and the um, Miami, as I said. But I saw the Paris candle at Nordstrom last year. And I don't know if they had extras and so it was just available or what. Um, but it was a different votive. It didn't have this kind of um, beautiful blue-green shade. At least I thought it was Paris. I'm pretty sure. Um... Okay, so the Paris candle takes you to the heart of Saint Germain, an emblematic district of the, Par uh, the Parisian chic, a mysterious chipre accord accentuated with a hint of lavender. Now I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, so hold on one second. Sheep. Okay, if I can do it the way that Google Translate is telling me, it sounds like this. Sheep. That's, I'm going to do my best here, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to say that. Sheep. <laughs> I know, it's close. So, a mysterious sheep accord accentuated with a hint of lavender. Ooh, that's nice. You know what I'm going to tell you this smells like? And you guys who are um, older, as myself, it smells like Dracar Noir. <laughs> if you remember that men's cologne... It's not as deep as that, and it's not as strong as that, but that's what it smells like. Which I was, by the way, absolutely obsessed with. I loved that scent. Now looking back on it, I'm a little scared of that because it's, it's really strong, but it, I loved, uh, I loved Ricard Noir. Loved the scent. Yeah, that's what it smells like. So it's a masculine, musky almost scent, but then it has the lavender in it that lightens it. Oh, that's nice. I could just smell <laughs> I could smell this for hours. Okay, here's here's the winner. I don't know what the next one is going to smell like, but this is beautiful. It is a ma it is a, a what you might consider traditionally more masculine scent. Um but the lavender definitely lightens it uh up a little bit, but wow, that's that's beautiful. Love that one. Okay. Uh and last but not least is the new one, uh which is the Pekin P-E-K-I-N, uh, they have slash Pekin uh, Beijing Candle. And the box has uh, orange and pink and cream and uh, white and blue. Really pretty. I love I love the boxes. The boxes, I'm keeping the boxes because they're just stunning. Um, and then the candle itself is this beautiful frosted orange with the gold etching. And this is the one that was new for this year. And it says, the historical, majestic, and radiant Pekin, or Beijing, is a new addition to the City Candles collection. The candle is an homage to this ancient city, its architecture and history, with elegant and mysterious flory, I'm sorry, floral, woody accord lifted by the aromatic notes of green tea. I'm going to use green tea again. Uh, again, uh, these are all the same size, so they're 6.5 ounces. Ooh, that's very light. I mostly get green tea from this one. It is woody. It's a very light wood. I'd say it's similar to the Shanghai, maybe because of the green tea, but it's similar to the Shanghai. Yeah, it's similar. It's, it's not the same, but this has more of a woody green tea and the other one's more of a floral green tea, but those are probably the most similar. This new uh, Pekin uh, Beijing and the Shanghai are probably the, the closest in, in scent. Um, the Berlin is the most unique, different from all of these. It's got more of that uh, floral, almost like a lemon kind of scent to it in a way. Um, the Tokyo and the Hong Kong, I love them both. They're very different than I, than I thought I would like. Um, the, the, um, New York is a sweet vanilla kind of scent, um, but it also has 
a muskiness, which I really like. So I like the New York. But I have to say my favorite is the Paris. And it smells like, it smells like Dracar Noir. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm the only one who's, who gets that from it, but that's what it smells like to me. It's, uh, it's, it's a masculine, warm, I like it. Now, I like those types of scents, but yeah, that's what I get from it. Wow, that's stunning. Um, so, I, I haven't decided, you know, if the Beverly Hills and the Miami, I, I think, are still at Nordstrom, I might pick them up. I'm not really sure if I, if I want to do that. I believe the Beverly Hills one is actually a floral, um, and I think the Miami one might be too. I'm not sure, and I know the London one is as well. I'll put the pictures above of the votives. Um, the London one... Let's just take a look since we're, we're here. Um, the Miami one, yeah, it's definitely floral. The Miami one, we'll pick the picture up. The scent of the Miami candle offers an exotic aroma of delicate magnolia blossoms enhanced by delicious citrus. I do love citrus. Key lime pie. I love key lime pie, actually. So maybe I get the Miami one because I do. I love key lime pie. Um, the Beverly Hills one again, is a, is a floral, um, and it says the Beverly Hills candle and bottles embodies the city's palm trees and lush gardens in the shade, which bloom enticing bouquets of white floral flowers mingled with the mint and lemon to create a radiant accord. Well, I do like mint and lemon, but I don't know how floral it is. If it's super floral, then, you know, I don't know. That's a tough one. Now, the London candle, again, I'll, I'll make sure these pictures are above. This is my favorite looking votive because I love the purple and silver together. I just think that's stunning. But it specifically says, the scent of London candle takes you to the heart of the Columbia Road flower market. The unique notes of heliotrope, lilac, and juniper and hyacinths are worn with a touch of spice. I'm really worried about that lilac thing in there because I'm just like, would I even be able to burn it? <laughs> would I just get sick? Would I just get an immediate headache? But the, the votive is beautiful. I don't even know if I can get it anymore because it might not be even available because again, it was only available for a limited time online. So it might, my decision might've been made for me. Uh, but the Beverly Hills and the Miami, I believe I can get at Nordstrom. I'll put down below if that is indeed the case anymore. But I have to say guys, these candles are stunning. Um, I'd love to hear if you picked any of them up and which ones you did, if you picked them up. Um, I will have, I'm, I'm trying to find like the right display for all of these because I have a lot of tea candles now. Thanks so much to, to Gita for her encouragement. Um, and uh, so I have a lot of diptyque now and I feel like I should display them somewhere and I don't really have the right place. I'm, you know, still putting together my, uh, my studio. I know I've been up here for like four months, but I've been working so much that I really haven't even had a time time to really furnish it. Like I've got some things, um, but I don't really have new furniture up here yet. And I don't have a place to display my, my perfumes. Uh, and I'd like to have like a table just to do diptyque. And I don't have that. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Um, but I do also want to mention that I got this like diptyque, there's a diptyque bag and there's little diptyque bags in the diptyque, I mean, like, inside the bigger one. And I got all kinds of fragrance samples and I got little mini candle samples. So everyone was, uh, was so nice to me at the Diptyque. I ordered directly from Diptyque Boutiques instead of ordering online because I like to be able to order directly from a person if I can. I worked retail, I know how hard it is. So I want someone to get credit for my sales if I can possibly do so. I think these are absolutely worth picking up um, if you have access to them. If you're not in the US and you're somewhere else where you can get them online, I absolutely would suggest getting them. I think they're all beautiful. If you're in these areas, so like if you're in Paris, you can pick up the Parisian one. Uh, if you're in London, you can pick up the London one from the London Boutique. Um, and uh, Diptyque, I think, just does a beautiful job. If you're somebody who's looking for a luxury candle, it makes a great gift for people. You don't have to pick up the city candles. I have tons of different ones. Um, they're all beautiful, they, really. The, the throw is amazing. They last forever. And then when you're done with candle, you can keep the votive and we'll do what I do, which is <laughs> put your brushes in them. Uh, this is an old uh, Port de Bois, as you can see, uh, candle. And, um, you know, I now have my Rosenbrenn brushes in it. So 
they they come in really handy because the votives are beautiful and you can still sort of smell a little bit of the scent it's kind of nice but anyway uh i'm a big fan of diptyque and i absolutely do recommend them so those are the city candles hopefully that was of interest like i said i wanted to you know, just uh, mention it to you guys, show you what I picked up because I did mention that I was going to buy them. And let me know whether you think I should get the other U.S. ones, the Beverly Hills and the Miami, or if I should just wait. Um, and your thoughts on the London. Like I said, I don't think I can get it now because I think it, I think it's past the time I could order it here in the U.S. Um, but would I even think about getting it next year? Like, it's one of those things, like, I would complete my collection, but I'd have something with lilac in it, which I'm really allergic to. <laughs> It would seem like a bad idea. I don't know. Uh, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear if you picked up any of the city candles and which ones you did. Uh, if you've tried Diptyque, if you're a big Diptyque lover, I'd love to, to hear your experiences with it. And uh, I think that's it. I think that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.